here, brother. She's still alive! I can't believe it! My god, the prince! He's still alive! Some people will believe anything. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read. The Templars are holding the prince as a bargaining chip, but have lost interest. Bad news for the prince. The assassins want what he knows. But the Templars will kill him unless we can get him on a boat out of Paris. Consider it done. But cheer up. Come back here! Stop you! Yes, you! Hold it, you! Who do you think wants you dead? And now I'm going to just take your place. Please! I've done nothing wrong! You must be the first innocent of death in history. Dead men. Never killed a prince before. Please don't harm me! No, I just do what I'm told, son. Louis Charles, I presume. Finally! My uncle sent you then. I serve another master. A servant nonetheless. Well, what are you waiting for? Rescue me! As you say. I'm not going anywhere without Bruce. What was that?
let's go. You don't give the orders here. Well, there are more of those thugs downstairs. Hurry! If you would hurry up, we'd be outside already. Take out the men by the door. Your Majesty. Took you long enough. Let's go. Your boat is waiting. But I get seasick. Of course. There's more ahead. Can't you watch where you're going? Just wait here. Un amant surpris par le mari. They're waiting for us at the shore. I hope they have sweets. You had better be worth it. Greetings, Arno, but there has been some confusion. This is not the prince. You've got to be kidding. Wait, but I was the prince's groom. I grew up with him. What you know is useful, nonetheless. You will be safe with us. Glad I could help. Arno. Stop, you shit!
You want me to come over here and crush you, you pellet? Divertissement intéressant.
Those papers are for a patient that we just released. He always blabbered on about being a fisherman, so your best bet is to check the river. We also had a patient escape a few weeks ago. You can check their cells inside, just down the steps. I had a paper cut, but my, my whole arm got infected because it, it's so filthy in here. Some surgeon thought he had the right to, to hack it clean off. The pain almost killed me. Come here, you maggots! Piss off! I was fishing a f few days ago and I found a body floating in the river. Cut up arms and legs, too. Must have floated here from upstream. I, I didn't know what to do with it, so I took it to the cemetery. I'm. I'm sorry. Please help. My 
wife is missing. She'd just come home from the butcher. But when I went in the bedroom upstairs, she was gone, and there's blood everywhere. I think it's hers. Please, help me. Some crazy man came by here rambling about a corpse. That's all I know. How about some fresh pork? My assistant can give you a perfect cut. He's a little slow in the head. Came in here a few weeks ago begging for work, but I tell you, the boy has a gift. A gift that finally leaves me some time to get some fishing in. I just want to work. I won't bother no one. What do you want? I must work. I just want to work. I won't bother no one. What do you want? Let me cut me. There was so much to cut, so little time. So much meat left to cut. Can't stop. Never stop. Horrible. That's the last time I fish in those waters. Have a look and see which weapon suits you. Some shady characters mixed up in this one, eh? Finally get a vacation, only to find a headless corpse rotting in my tannery. That thing's been sitting here at least a few days. But the wound on his chest. Only a custom blade could do that. I've heard rumours those awful gangs love to leave their mark on their victims.
few days ago, I heard some strange noises outside my window late in the night. When I looked outside, I saw someone going into the tannery carrying something quite large. I just assumed it was Citizen Gilbert, working late as always. I had no clue he was vacationing and someone broke in. Otherwise, I'd have told someone. How can I not recognize my own masterpiece? Of course, it belongs to Roland Lorraine. Uh, you must return this. I'm sure you'll be looking for it. You'll find him working at the prison at La Salpetriere, or home with his wife, Madame Camille. I'll write down the address for you. left the mark of an X, well, that's one of mine. I forge him custom for the gangly Mouchard Mall. It stands for X marks the spot or some such thing. A hooded fella, much like yourself, purchased one of those blades a few days ago. Look, I can't be responsible for these once they're sold. Check the tavern, Le Creux. It's where les Mouchard Mall spend most of their time. Now, I'll write down the address for you. Me? Well, I'm here to console Madame Camille, that's all. Just a friend. My husband had many enemies. Running a prison made sure of that. I must admit, he'd been missing two nights before I could bring myself to tell the police. It's no secret that I wasn't faithful, but I would never do such a horrible thing. are better than this. He had his faults, but he was a good man. Not that his wife even cares. Such fake tears. Always running off with a new man. <laughs> I knew something was wrong. Warden Leroux was always home late, but for him to simply vanish for two days made no sense. I must have been mixed up with Les Marcheurs Mort, that horrible gang, but I honestly thought it was just rumors. Just you trying to pass me! Oh. 
Nothing, say nothing. I just serve the Mashi and Moch their ale and carry about me business. You can take it up with their leader upstairs. I was expecting someone to come by and pin LaRue's death on us. Sure, the Warden had some debt. But we were negotiating the release of some of my men in return. Why would I toss away a deal like that? I'm not a fool. The horror, the gall of these vermin. Look at what they've done. Poor Warden LaRue's head placed on a pike for all in the prison to see. Surely a message to me who must follow his brave tenure. I'd wished him a good night just yesterday. I'd heard rumors of his gambling debts with Les Marcheurs Moore. That wretched gang. The horror. The gall of these vermin. Look, accuse me. But, but I'm in charge of the prison you'd like to throw me in. The irony of being locked up here. Are you enjoying it? Where's Vidal? Are you? Little beast broke out again. Don't you worry. I'll catch up with him soon enough. He's not that bright. Expect to see him on the gallows one of these fine days. 
I was certain the wife did it. She knows the town a little too well, if you know what I mean. Take your pick. Eight, nine, damn. Something wrong, monsieur? These numbers don't add up. Someone's stolen nearly a case of wine. Stolen? I shall have to ask Monsieur Collignon about this. I'm sure he would never do something like that. That is, how would a gardener be able to get into the wine cellar with no one noticing? I'm sure he has his ways. Here, brother. You'd best keep your hands to yourself. You got this coming, then. You coward.
What's the hurry, friend?
Nana. Retourne dans tout.
I don't do business with extortionists. Get away. <laughs>
your back. Bloody hell. Die! That tailor refuses to deliver the coat I have ordered for Louis Antoine de Saint Just. Must be a misunderstanding. I'll speak to the tailor. It's either his head or mine. That man outside says you owe him a coat. No one's getting that coat until I get some answers. About what? This material. There's something fishy about it. I tried to ask the tanner, but rough men outside the tannery turned me away. I'll see what I can do. Please, 
Help me. What happened here? Sounds used. What is leather? But not from cow -eyed. You're making leather from human skin? My God! I was forced! Saint-Just will pay. Leather is made from human skin. It had better be. That's why Saint Just is paying so well. You'll both pay with your lives. You know, you may become a nice coat yourself. Seize him! You're no better than that, folks! <laughs> They were using human skin to make the leather for Saint-Just's coat. My god. I'll make sure this leather is used as evidence to denounce Saint-Just and bring him down. Good luck.